This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Steven on Facebook sent us this question asking, on my APC power saving backup UPS Pro 1500, I have two 12 volt batteries, the APC RBC 33 compatible, consists of two 12 volt 7A batteries. If I want to swap it out for a marine deep cycle battery, do I have to get two 12 volt batteries to match what is in there now? Because that would be 24 volts. Or can I just connect one 12 volt battery? Down the road, can I daisy chain three batteries? So what we have here is sort of your classic backups, UPS Pro, APC, one of our favorite brand of uninterruptible power supplies. The power goes out, your computer has enough time to shut itself down. In, in you know the parachute software tells the computer we got to go it, it it gracefully shuts everything down before you run out of power right it's much better than the whole sort of you know brown out black out mm -hmm. computer looks like you've chopped its head off the batteries for those are really weird uh, the uh, RBC 33 um, and if I if you take a look at it it's actually uh, two like seven amp alarm batteries or sealed lead acid batteries with a plate that connects them and that power cord that sticks out. If you look at the side of the batteries or the original battery will actually tell you that they're running at like 14, 13.8 volts uh, to 14.4 volts with like 1.7 amps uh, drawing the current. So, you know, basically what it is, is is essentially they connected two batteries in parallel to give you a bigger 12 volt or a 12 volt battery with more capacity because they're joining two together. So let me show you it, I, I don't like putting car batteries on unripple power supplies. We did an episode of System talking about that. But this is what happens to, say, a battery that has not been properly charged. And this is a standard APC battery. It was just run long, long after uh, its life cycle should have been ended. And you can see the cracks in the cases. This was not dropped. Ooh. It actually expanded so much after it was, it was basically left in storage and the battery went south. But what you don't want is your sealed lead, acid, sealed lead acid battery to become unsealed and pour the contents throughout the house. What you don't want is a car battery that is designed to basically be topped off to be leaking hydrogen in your house because you're overcharging it or charging it you know, in, improperly. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for these sort of emergency, one of the many layers of emergency power in my house are these big honking puppies. And they're not in my house or my garage. They're Lifeline 8D batteries. There's two of them that weigh 156 pounds each. Um, it can run an 8 amp load for like 1,500 minutes. Um, and, but I keep these in 8D battery cases. You know, I charge them properly once a month. They use a proper AGM battery conditioner, or I said charger that also conditions the battery. And I don't store them in my house. If you have car batteries next to your computer and there's a charging issue, you can you release hydrogen gas. Ooh. You can have you know lead acid if you if you overheat it, the battery cracks, which is difficult to do, but still possible. Um, you know, and you don't have like the batteries in cases or sitting in a in a pan full of baking soda it can leak battery acid over your floor. Um, you can do it. I do not recommend it, and I really think you're going to have charging issues, especially if you want to go to like three car batteries. You know, if you need a whole lot of emergency backup power, create a proper emergency backup power situation. Uh, with proper inverter and proper charges because uh, dansdata.com slash upgradehtm the definitive article going back to 2006 on <laughs> putting car batteries on your UPS and why it may not be a good idea to do it the wrong way. Uh, most recently it was updated in uh, December 2011. Um, what Dan does is basically gets proper power going to the batteries and uh, it's, it's worth w read it because he's going to talk to you about the simple things like Consumer UPSs are not designed to run for like eight hours. They're designed to run for like 15 or 20 minutes. Right. And then they shut down. So there's questions about whether or not... That's why know, they're backup power. Yes. They're, they're, they're not they're, just power power. They're <laughs> not meant for just being power power. What she says, you know, you don't want to run the risk of burning down your house because you overload the inverter because you ran it for eight hours instead of 15 minutes because you had three car batteries on it. There's a lot of places where this can go wrong. And if it goes wrong, it can cost you your house. That would be bad. Um, so... so yeah. Do me a favor, read the article at dancedata.com, UPS upgrade, look at the caveats and decide whether or not this is something you really want to do or if you just want to keep buying inexpensive batteries or buy the optional UPS upgrade external pack that uh, APC offers or pay a ton of money and get a professional extended duration UPS uh, solution. I hate using the word solution. I just feel like I'm <laughs> Good doing, info. Good info for staying safe too. Yeah, you don't want batteries doing bad things in your living space. Just saying. All right. Well, we have more of your questions still to come. But first, let's thank our sponsors. 
For setting up a website, Domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. Need a new domain name? Consider registering a new .com. A .com domain name is the original, and we all know it's the best. Plus, if you want to invest in and sell domains, .coms have the highest aftermarket value. And that's the whole point of investing, right? Making more money. Look, you can find a new .com domain at Domain.com. We on the show here like Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter at Domain.com, that's easy to find, and great customer support makes it a fun place to do business. We have an awesome coupon code with a big 20% discount off Domain.com's already low prices. Use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. 20% off on your domain name, folks, big time savings, and you're taking care of TechZilla. Do us a favor, Domain.com, use the TechZilla coupon code when you're there. When you think domain names, think Domain.com, and you notice, that's a .com.